Hey guys, uh, this video, I'm going to show you how I do my uh, Android boxes. I basically use um, Square Home 2, and then I go from there. Click on, uh, I download it actually on a thumb drive, and basically when you start the um, launcher for the first time, you got to go through the uh, wizard. This is how I do it. I leave everything almost the same, disable, next next on this I change it to user define and I click on next done and basically this is the launcher now so whatever the box had before uh, show you which is this the Windows uh, 8 launcher whatever it is and then the uh, the home uh, and uh, when you switch the lounger the first thing you want to do is um, make sure you hit uh, always that way it stays on on that lounge and then from here what I do is um, all these little apps you can uh, for example this is an app you press and hold on it and uh, uh, this is like a picture app I, I don't want it so I just delete it um, I basically delete every um, little thing on here and just add my app store apps that I want to show on the uh, home screen. Um, let me delete all these and then I'm going to start adding the ones that um, that I want on my uh, home screen. All right, so I deleted most of the apps. I left some on there just so that they can guide me through. And what I'll do is I click on this plus sign and uh, I go to app applications and then um, I'll go down to my app which is the first one that I usually put on there uh, and then um, I go to the click on the uh, bear with me I'm using this mouse on top of the actual box uh, plus sign again and then uh, application and I go and get uh, Netflix I like to have Netflix on the home screen. Most people have Netflix these days. Um, then I go back and add another app. And that's going to be the Equity Player or KD Player, whatever you want to name it nowadays. I don't want to uh, say any sources on on, on Cody, but um, some people might be doing that if they wanted to. And so I just add it on there. And then the, uh, the last application that I put on on my home screen is YouTube. All these applications most people use them. Uh, let me uh, rearrange this a little bit. Well, the way you rearrange the uh, home screen is pretty easy. Basically, I want my app to be right on top. So I'm going to hold and drag right to the top over here. Okay. And then what I want to do is the same thing I'm going to do with Netflix. Hold it and drag it right next to my app. Now, I want to change the size of it. So I click I hold, click and hold. Left click and hold. I click on this little thing here and then go to large. I want it to be large. And um, just unclick that. And I'll move the uh, Netflix back on the top here. I'll do the same with the Netflix app. I want it to be large also. So I have to click on that. And oops. Uh, you can, that's for customized size. So if you want to do custom size, there's not that many uh, options anyways. But uh, I like the square. I like the square and that's what I do. You can customize if you wanted to. I'm going to de de delete the uh, Firefox from the home screen. Uh, I don't want no browser. I usually don't want anything that has to do with that people are going to be playing with the box other than the actual video apps. I like to take them off the home screen because I don't want people to be playing around with the boxes. And then I put the time and, and the day on the bottom there so they can play around with it. Somehow I deleted too many apps and now it's making me uh, uh, do everything all the way around. So what I'll do is... I'll click on this one and make it right on top. And then I'll do the same with this. 
and Netflix. Yeah, that way I can have them right there. That's why I want to have them. And then I'll put Cody here, and then I'll put YouTube right here. And what I'll the reason why I do that is because now I can hold and click, and what I want to do is click on the uh, wide and do that and then do this and do that and same thing oops wait wrong way wrong one so uh wide okay now this this is the actual setup of that i have for the screen and what i'll do now is i'll change the the background the way i change the background i already have my own background on there I go to menu on the remote control and see if it works. For some reason, maybe this is not working on my remote. Let me go here. Hold on a second. I can also go. So my remote is not working for some reason. Oh, it's because I, I get that on uh, click. So <laughs> make sure you don't click it. <laughs> so I go to menu and then go to system wallpaper and then you want to choose gallery you choose the gallery and the one that i want to choose is the right the first one on the top oops that didn't work i didn't choose it so system wallpaper gallery and i'll choose it with the uh, mouse uh, choose that one click it again and on the left top corner you want to set a uh, wallpaper, and that's my wallpaper. Now, once I got that on there, um, what I usually um, do now is customize a little bit of the applications so they can have a look and feel uh, with the background. So this is my taste, guys. You can do whatever you want. You can put your own background, and the, f the, the way I do it is I... Click on, on this guy here, and then I go to the settings on it, and I go to style. And the style that I use for mines are uh, style number 14, which is like a transparent, but it still has a little bit of shade, like a shadow. And I unclick that, and then the same thing for, for um, Netflix. And then uh, style. If you have an icon pack that you can use, you probably use that too on here. This is pretty. This this is the best launcher that I, I I found for Android TV boxes. Same thing for that one, and then I do the same for all um for all the other ones. All right, so, all right. So for for the uh, time and the day, I do this. I do a, a style number fifteen because it's completely transparent it's, it doesn't show nothing on the background no shadow in it anything like that it just shows my background picture so it blends in with the uh with the background pretty good and uh it kind of gives it like a professional look to it style then number 15 on that one and what i've been doing lately because people are pain in, in the butt <laughs> When it comes to settings and stuff like I used to take the applications tab out of the uh, home screen but now I leave it on there and I do the same thing as far as the style I do uh, the uh, style number 15 on on this just because that way people can click on that and go straight to the settings and then go to the uh, um, Wi-Fi you can also do a Wi-Fi short shortcut on this but I, I just leave it like that for for me you can do a Wi-Fi shortcut whenever you are so this is how my boxes looks like. That's how my boxes look when I set them up. This at this this is set up already. And at the end, when you when you're done, what you want to do is you can um, on the remote control you can probably just click um, menu and then go all the way uh, to the middle there to it says edit off, and that way it's, it's nobody can edit the uh, the thing. You can also, uh, there's a, a thing on the uh, home screen uh, too that you can set it up where you can lock that, but I think you have to pay for that after 14 days. So, but you know, 
most people are not going to play around with the uh, with that setting. I tell people, listen, just once the box is set up, I tell them just go to my uh, my app, which is the Stream HD app, and then that's it. So, guys, I hope this helps many of you if you uh, actually took the time to watch the whole video. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. I could probably put this on YouTube, but. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to uh, share it with you guys first and then I'll, I'll put an actual video on YouTube for people to, you know, view it and uh, enjoy it and, and learn a little bit. But that's what I've done with my box. Every box that I set up when I get them and uh, this is what I do. Home screen uh, two uh, and then that's the setup. And then this is the uh, T95. The box is the T95Z Plus. You can do it on any, any TV box.